Uh, hello everybody. Um, in this video I'm going to explain how to do an energy analysis for your project, your building that you've made, um, showing you how much energy it costs per square foot a year um, for your entire building. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is to make sure that your project is oriented correctly to what your project site outline will be. Um, I discussed how to find the true north for your project in an earlier video. I would recommend doing that first before you create your energy model because that depends on where the sun will set and rise according to which way your building is facing. Um, but once you have figured out that, first, uh, the, the next step that you'll want to do is go to location, which is underneath the analyze, analyze tab here up in Revit. So you want to click on location and a map will pop up. Um, I'm pretty sure it pops up somewhere in Maryland or Maine or some off the wall place. Um, if your place is not located there, you can change it. Um, I've already done it. As you can see, my project's in Idaho Falls. Um, there's two different things you can do. You can do default city list. And when you do that, this pops up as default city list is best for HVAC sizing. So we don't want to use HVAC sizing right now. We want to do an energy analysis. So this is not what we want. We don't want to go by city, but just to show you, you click on the city and it shows just about every single important city in the world. Japan, Russia, Moscow, all these places. That was Montana, I think, or I don't know. Anyways, so we don't want that, but just want to show you that's a thing but here internet map surface and this says it's best for the energy analysis that's what you want so you come up here click on here and you type the city that you want if you want to get super specific to the actual address you can do that as well and it'll go exactly to where um, that lot is that address that you typed in so you can be as specific as you want I didn't really care I didn't want to be that specific I just said Idaho Falls it's in there and I hit search and boom, pops me up. So you hit the search button, and then these weather um, beacons pop up, which is, oh, I don't know why it keeps doing that stuff. Weather beacons pop up. And this is where the weather channel kind of gets their weather reports or weather stations. I clicked on this one. It's the closest to my spot where I'm going to be building this building at. And you choose which one you want. And I click this one. So then you hit OK. And when you're done with that, you click Energy, Create Energy Model. And then you can make it so it doesn't show this again, but yes. And this takes just a few seconds um, to think, and it, shows, and it analyzes all the walls and the roofs, your windows, and where north is according to your project. And you want to make sure that your entire building is blue. If the only part of it's blue, um, you are forgetting a ceiling somewhere, or your walls don't go all the way to the roof, or you don't have a floor somewhere. It happened to me once. It only half of it was blue, and it's because I forgot to put in a floor for my second floor. So that was awkward. So make sure that it's all blue. And it's done the energy analysis, and now you want to do is you want to hit the generate button. Now, I'm not going to hit the generate button because when you hit the generate button, it's generating and calculating everything and it's going to send it to a website um, but that takes about 10 minutes and I do not want to sit here and wait for 10 minutes and I don't want to edit it and so you hit once that's generated you wait till it's done thinking and you hit optimize and when you hit optimize this will pop up which is the energy analysis and it'll pop up in insight now if you click the other button that I was telling you the generate this will pop up and you'll have a little process button here instead of two actual processes if you just click straight to optimize you will only pop up to oh I lost it there we go you'll pop up to this and you won't have a project loaded and you can't load the project until you hit the optimize button or the generate button so this is what pops up and you have your energy analysis all done and it tells you that I'm using a $1.61 foot 
foot squared per year. And we want to get underneath this, so I'm going to have to tweak some wall construction, some insulation, or a different HVAC system. And you can click it and you can see how it changes. So move the graph to this, I just lowered it 50, 10 cents. So, and you can see how it popped up. If you want to go back the way it was, you just click on that. So, anyways, that's is how you do your energy analysis.